A lot of companies talk about you have to have usage data in order to track churn as an early warning system and to be able thereby mitigate churn risk. What do you think about usage data and what role does it play in mitigating churn risk in your opinion? The actual answer lies in the details of what you usage data and how are you calculating usage data. And I'll give you a few examples because, you know, if you're saying who has logged in as usage data, people may log in and then log out. It will still count as usage, but they're still not using the system. Teams are oriented towards this login data. Nuances there are which systems typically or solutions what we have seen are used by different personas within the organization. So depending on who the persona is, are you able to map the usage to that? So see, most platforms, let's say, have a reporting or a BI layer, ours does too. And usage of that module is typically more with the admin, with the finance, with the CXO layer, not as much with the CSM managers themselves. But then when we are looking at usage, are we able to see who's using it? So if the right persona is using the right set of features, then you are good. Otherwise, if you overall, you aggregate it out, you may have your key stakeholders or the decision makers who are actually not using it and not seeing value out of it whilst you drive a lot of usage amongst the other personas, you may still lose the account.